hi, and welcome to another edition of Patty TV. Guess who's not getting buried this weekend? Gary Coleman. His body has been put on ice. He passed away last week, but something is just not right about what happened with Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman's adopted parents are fighting with the wife, who we found out was not the wife, Shannon. Let me explain. How did Gary Coleman really die? The mysterious 911 phone calls where the wife, Shannon, didn't seem like she was concerned at all. No sense of urgency. Then the lies, the lies that will trip you up every time. Like when she told the dispatchers that she couldn't drive. But in an interview, she admitted that Gary Coleman had brought her a car. Hmm. Was there foul play in Gary Coleman's death? He's on the new issue of People Magazine. Janet Jackson's new boyfriend, here's the quote. This is the Arab guy that she's dating. He's younger, taller, and richer than anyone she has ever dated before. She describes him as her knight in shining armor, and for the first time in her life, Janet Jackson is dating a man who pays for everything. Go, Janet. She's currently starring in Tyler Perry's new movie. <laughs> They're filming it right now for Color Girls. If you can see the look on our director's face right now as I do this, he's like, mm -hmm. Halle Berry's got a new perfume coming out. Reveal is coming out in August. This is her third. It's part of the Revlon line. She says she's real excited about helping people smell very good. Alejandra Jackson, we love her. This is the woman who had a baby by Randy Jackson, too, and two by Jermaine. She's got to get out of the Jackson family house because her sons are bad. These kids are bad. And they had a stun gun. They were using it on Michael Jackson's kids. It was a mess. Well, now she has to move out. Now she's armed herself with a lawyer. Look, you can't get the money from Randy. You can't get it from Jermaine, which is tacky in itself, having babies by two brothers. Why would you go after Katherine Jackson, who's been paying your bills and letting you live on her compound for years and years? Now she's got to move out. They've given her a mid-June date, but Alejandra wants to fight it, and she's armed herself with lawyers. Oprah Winfrey, who's going to take the cover? at 4 p.m. time slot. I can tell you this, it won't be the TV show The View. Barbara Walters was angling for it. It would have brought her even more money and syndication, but The View will not be going to 4 o'clock when Oprah no longer is on the air. Dwayne Wade, Miami Heat basketball star, he's gotten temporary custody of his two kids. He's going through a very nasty divorce with his wife, Siobhan, but her tactics and antics have really gotten in the way. She's going through nine lawyers so far, lying in court, not showing up in court. She's really angry with the fact that he's dating Gabrielle Union. They're no longer together. And now, Siobhan, you've lost custody, at least temporarily, of your two kids. Take the money and run. You can have your kids. You can have the money. Find yourself somebody else. But don't keep this thing with Dwayne. It's just messy. Bonnie Pointer. Remember in the 70s, she was part of the Pointer sisters? Sister June died, but there was Ruth, there was Anita, and Bonnie Pointer. Bonnie left the group in the 70s, and she's had a history of drug abuse and problems. Well, she's joining VH1's Celebrity Rehab. Erica Badu, Tuesday night at the Tower Theater. I'm going to be hosting. She's on the new issue of Vibe magazine. She talks about the baby daddies and the baby and the babies and how she's just misunderstood. She's got some great artwork on her back. <laughs> I asked her, I said, Erica, did those tattoos hurt? She says, no, it was artwork. And I was like, oh. But Erica Badu, she's going to be here Tuesday night. And the Delhi's box office opens on Monday, everybody. The season kicks off July 12th. War, Tina Marie, Bobby Brown, Johnny Gill, The Whispers, Keith Sweat, The OJs, Marvin Sapp, Marion Meadows. I'm doing this all on the top of my head. Just to name a few of what a fabulous summer season we're going to have at the Dell East 33rd and Ridge. Make sure you get your tickets. We will see you at the Dell. Have a good one. This is Patty TV and the 411.